Okay, so here we are, pressure test number three with the 12 inch brush with every hole open. Come and have a look at this. Every hole on the rinse bar is completely open and you can see we can get an amazing amount of water. Now the pressure we're dealing with in line is 14.5. We've got the pump running in place. The static pressure is 66 psi and the operating pressure is 14 psi. You can see there's loads of water, more than what you need. But to agitate into there, agitate into there, and then rinse and rinse and off. So now we'll turn the pump off and just go with the tap pressure. Now we're on tap pressure only. Here we go, have a look here. We have 25 psi is the tap pressure. Operating pressure is just 3.7 psi. 12 inch brush, every jet open, right? You can see there's water here for rinsing the corners. There's water there for rinsing the corners. So that's the action, come down. And then for the rinse, we have the rinse like that. The hydrophobic glass turns hydrophilic and you've got yourself a perfect clean, only on a reach it. Hi, this is Perry with the pressure test number four using the 12 inch original constructor brush. So you can see here we've got every second jet is open. This is a standard configuration, we supply it like this. And you can see there's loads of pressure. I'm not going to squirt Edward, but basically you can see the angle of the water is at the same angle as the bristles. Can you see that? And let's have a look at the operating pressure. This is an operating pressure of 4.7 psi. The static pressure from the tap is about 25 psi. So you'd consider that fairly low pressure and you can see easily there's water here into the corner so you can rinse into the corners. There's water here into the corners and then we've got a rinse and a rinse and if that's hydrophobic glass it'll be hydrophilic for the purpose of agitation and rinse. So that's the rapid and massive efficiency that's possible now that we've resolved the cannon issue by giving you this rinse bar from ReachIt.